Welcome to Susan's Garden. Helioborus is one of those names that sounds like it, it should be in a lab, but in actuality, it's one of the first flowers you see at spring. Their colors are light pink, and uh, but all the way to a chartreuse like I've done here, and lovely shades of purples and magenta. Today I'm gonna do a pink one. And the dyes that come in your kit have all five petals, it has the stamen, and it has the leaves and the calyx. The first thing we wanna do is add some shading because look at the difference between an ordinary petal and one that we've add color to. So I'm gonna place it on my nonstick pad and using the pan pastels on the edge here, I'm going to add some colors, a little bit, since this is a pink one, I am going to add a little bit of a darker pink. And then using the fine point of a Copic marker, you see I've added freckles to the, the petal. And that gives that little bit of depth that they, the shading that you need. So just lightly tap right around that area where you just shaded with the pan pastels. Just so when you look down the flower, you get some interest to it. Do you know that these are known as Christmas roses or Lenten roses, but in actuality they have no relationship to roses whatsoever. But they are pretty and very, very striking in your garden. I'm gonna take the calyx and using the small, or the, this is the medium ball, I'm gonna simply stir that calyx around, because it's a pretty big calyx to set it up. I'm gonna place it over here on the mat, and then I'm gonna take that petal that I just colored and set it on the mat and use the large end of the loop tool. I'm gonna to go from the tip to the stem end, pulling down and shaping that petal as I go. Don't be afraid, this is cardstock and the, the more dimension you can put in it, the better it looks. Now, if you take your tweezers and pinch that stem end as so, you can hold the pinch in your opposite hand, and then with the tweezers, bend down slightly on the petal, just to give it a little bit of shape and not make it look so flat. Now I've gone ahead and, and added a petal here, but I'm, I am gonna do this on my, um, my nonstick pad because I wanna keep my, my pad there very nice. So I've added one petal. There are five projections, five petals, very easy to go together. So if we take that, glide it through the glue, I'm going to, on the opposite, put a petal. And I just kind of glide it back and forth a little bit. It, gives a little friction rub there and adheres that petal to it nicely. I'm gonna add four more petals and here's, here's one that's already almost completed. So you've got four petals. I've got one more to add into the glue and then right under that. So there you have the five petals of the Helioborus. Now that, that stamen is pretty interesting looking and it, it is quite um, thick, so I used it as a roll. And I'm going to take it, and like I've done the others, there's a little tab end here. I'm gonna hold the tweezers on one end, but because it's so long, this is another case where you would like to paint maybe a little bit more of it, not just the end with the glue, just so it adheres nicely and gets secure. It doesn't have to be all the way across there, but it's just enough to really tighten up as you roll it towards the opposite end. And then you get to get to that end, hold it there. I like to even twist it a bit, make sure it's nice and secure. And then while you're holding it, go ahead and fan it out a bit. Now I would probably, because this, even though it's not as fine, so I would probably just paint some of the ends with the glue, like I've done here. And then I'm going to dip it into the Woodland Scenics stamen powder, which is over here. I'm gonna add the yellow that matches the flower. So into the, the powder it goes, I'm gonna tap it a bit, and then you get that nice detail that you have. 
So back to your flower. In fact, I have one here on a little project we can show. I'm going to take the stamen. I'm going to dip it into the glue and place it right in the center of the flower. What a pretty flower for springtime bouquets. The only thing you would add are its leaves because I don't think any flower is complete without its leaves. I've gone ahead and placed that on my leaf pad. I've taken my leaf tool and added a stem line down the center, pinched it up a bit and highlighted that fold line with a little bit of a lighter green there. And then I place it back on the mat as I've done these. And using that leaf tool again, these do have veining. So besides the stem lines, I want you to add the vein lines on either side. Then you can use your tweezers to pinch it. You're going to bend out the petal or the leaf. And I like to even go in around. I don't like to, anything to just flatten out. So I've really taken my time to add some detail to it. These get placed in the glue, and then go ahead and tuck it under your project. Whether it's chartreuse, pink, or burgundy, Helioborus will be a beautiful springtime flower for your bouquets.